Hi, it's Lou Agave of Long Island Lou Tequila on Facebook and the web. Thanks for looking at my YouTube channel. Please subscribe today. Sipping with Lou. Once again, my son, the birthday boy, is hanging out with us. Came in from Brooklyn, 32 years old. Let's go. Yeah, and I'm really happy to have him here. He's getting really good as XA's. He's an XA fan, extra Añejo fan, big time. Today, what we're going to do for you guys is I'm going to turn him on to two tequilas he's never had, first of all, and get his opinions. And second of all, we're going to show you the difference of $100, okay? So here we go with Ray Soul. It's the famous Ray Soul, $249 at Z's Old Town Tequila Superstore, and most places it's about the same price. It's expensive. So let's give that a shot, first of all. That would be this guy. Salute, son. Happy birthday. Before I even take a sip, he goes right for it. Chip off the old block. It's the third take. Give me, you cut me some slack. <laughs> yeah, camera's been cutting off. Uh, caramel, honey, spice. <laughs> but you know, it definitely got a lot of caramel. Maybe a little too much for my liking, but it's uh, my friend Warren Aberback. This is his favorite XA, and I could respect that. It's really good. I like it. I more, mean, the more I drink of it, actually, the more I like it. But definitely, it's got a lot of caramel. And, uh, you know, it's, it's got spice, and it's got uh, honey, and it's got some leather and some smoke. Vanilla, it's got stuff, vanilla, yeah, it's got stuff going on. A lot of flavors. Uh, I, I like it. A little hot, a little hot, but good. You know, it is a little hot. Yeah. And we've been cleansing and sipping, so it's not the first sip. It is a little hot, but um, caramel again. Uh, but, you know, the honey and uh, and any, uh, you know, spices and this and that. It's really nice. It's really great. I mean, it's, it's delicious. Um. At this point, like even, smell, what do you yeah, think, where yeah. would you put it, like, you know? I would put it right after Tapatio. At, Tears would probably be my favorite after Eliza. And then Tapatio. Uh, I like the Alchemia a lot, especially because that's, what, 100 proof? Yeah. That one's really smooth. 14, yeah. This, I would say, I would put right after that, maybe. Oh, I, I do like the Cascaline as well, the, the French. Yeah, the French. French. But look, let's be honest. We're not going to talk about stuff you can't either buy anymore, because it's not made, like the Eliza from San Brazil, or... The Cash Queen French. You're not finding it anymore. So let's forget about those two. I think I might agree with him that Tears is going to be right up there with Tapatio. Yeah. One, two. Or well, one A and one B even. This is probably going to come in third, right? But you got Adolfo Murillo's Alchemia, which could be even a tie with this for third. I would, I would put that ahead of yeah. this, but only barely. Yeah, I mean, and, don't, and guys, there's a million others that are this close away. Don't get me wrong. They're not runaways, these top three or four yeah. we're giving you. It's this, almost about preference at this point. Yeah, exactly. So this is really good. This is great. Now, what we're going to do, let's uh, take a little water here, son. Do you have a little water to cleanse, uh, cleanse a little bit? This is the least you can do to do it like a taste test to honestly get any kind of perspective on the differences. A lot of times you can have a neutral cracker. That means, you know, without any flavorings, you know, uh, garlic, onion, nothing like that. Neutral Deblito. to help you. This is Organic 123's brand, Diablito. Diablito, I'm not crazy about the brand overall. They're coming out of the Las Americas. Everything tastes the same to me over there. Vanilla, creamy, like sodary. Um, I tried many brands over there. They're all basically tasting the same. This guy, though, this is their extra añejo, and I think there's a big difference. Now... Dan tried this a few seconds ago in take two, and uh, uh, for me, so he goes right for it. You forget about the nosing part? I don't do that in the third take. I'm done with that. He's on his phone. You know, definitely <laughs> spicy. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, so, a little more spicy than the other ones. <laughs> Definitely uh, some caramel and vanilla as well, and it's creamy, smooth, right? I, I like this. In my opinion, I can't tell much of a difference between the, you know, between those two, and it's a hundred dollars. Now I may disagree with him, but on the taste, this is a lot sweeter than on the nose. In my opinion, the sweetness really comes out on the taste. I think, but I no, like I, I think it. It's pretty, pretty natural. I like it. I think it goes down smooth, and I'm probably gonna pick up a bottle of that myself for 150 bucks. That'll be my drinking tequila while I store the other ones in uh, hibernation for you know. Yeah, he's got a good point. I mean, you know, you still get the uh, spice, the caramel, vanilla. Um, I think a lot of spice, a lot of it's almost uh, astringent, you know, meaning that it evaporates on your tongue quickly. Uh, a little more so than the other one, but this is really cool. Listen, 
you want to save yourself a hundred dollars and you want to buy an extra añejo for $149, you might want to sip on it every few weeks instead of three times a year. It's a pleasant surprise, no doubt about it. Pleasant surprise, good way to put it, my son. Happy birthday, I hope you guys got to see the difference between two extra añejos with a hundred dollar difference. They're both great, but you decide, all right? At this point, hope you had some fun relaxing and chilling with sipping with Lou. Salud. Salud. <laughs> Peace.